Hello and welcome to more Squirreltopia! Last time we beat off the first... Beat off? Oh my gosh. Um, last time we completed the first world, and now we're gonna go off to world two, and I guess go directly to two one. I don't think we have to play it in order. I think we could go to two two, we could go to two three, but I'm gonna go to two one. Might as well play things in order. So, my initial impressions of this game, not so good. Like, it has some interesting level design, some kind of cute graphics and cute music, but the controls are some of the worst. Just the handling is so bad. Uh, it's really hard to forgive. I mean, a, a game like this really needs good controls, and this one does not really do it for me. But to be fair, guys, I am a stickler for controls. Like, I will always harp on controls. If you hear me say a game has good controls, I really mean it. So, I'm very picky about that stuff. But still, like, this game, oh, man. Maybe you'll get used to it, but I don't know. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's, that's my own fault for not even paying attention, but there's clearly a gap in the middle there that we have to jump inside. So let's try to actually do that. Maybe I should actually pay attention to my surroundings. There's a penguin. Okay, let's not get killed by the penguin this time. That was, that was pretty unfortunate. All right, there's actually going to be a gap here, so let's specifically wait for that gap. And I think I can... Nope! I was going to say I can jump up to the blue and get the NES cartridge, but I can't. Huh. I can't quite get up there. I still don't know how to solve the I can't jump high enough issue. I'm not sure if it's like a glitch because I'm using a controller instead of a keyboard. I doubt it's something like that, though. And once again, I'm being too hasty. I'm a very impatient gamer, so when they throw obstacles like that that make you wait, I will tend to get killed by them. Oops. Okay, let's not get killed by the god dang penguin. Oh, you can jump on him. Wish I would have known that before. I should probably try jumping on more enemies from here on. Okay, we have the gap right here. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Sick. Okay, let's get down here, and I gotta time this so I don't get killed by the god dang penguin. And I got killed by the god dang penguin. I'm very good at timing things perfectly awful. Okay, let's just jump directly on the penguin's head. That's the end of the stage two, of course. Of course that would be the end. I guess let's try and get to the top of this thing. There we go, 2-2. Two, two. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. The, the problem I have with this game is, yes, it's a hardcore 2D platformer. It's supposed to be hard, all these things. But the problem I have is that I feel like it's hard because it's so hard to control, not because, like, the levels are designed in a challenging way. And I guess that's the issue I have with it. It's, it feels like it's harder than it should be, given the particular level design. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's really a hard thing to explain. Like, when you're watching this, it probably looks easy. But I feel like, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to say. But let's just go ahead and step on... Okay, stepping on that kills you. Good to know. Oh, there we go. The okay, the entire bomb platform totally cleared out there. So let's keep going. Let's jump on top of this penguin's head. Got him. Nice. I think we can just start going fast. There's a lot of stuff in this game that makes you want to go fast. I mean, you got all this momentum and stuff, but at the same time, it's like, if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably just going to totally die like that. Gosh dang it. Let's try that one again. Let's see if I can actually do this without totally falling in the water. Ooh, made it. There we go. It sucks. It sucks so bad to die right before a checkpoint like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I was supposed to go up there. Yeah, the uh, a lot of the color palette's kind of similar. Like, it is clearly separated from the background, but still, it's pretty easy to miss at times. And maybe that's not the way to do it. I don't know. So I, I tried to go to the top. Uh, can I trigger it from that side? I think I might have to trigger it from there like that. That might be the answer. Yeah, nothing, nothing too difficult so far. The only issue I'm having is the controls, which I'm harping on constantly. I'm a total broken record on it, but... It's still just a valid point. See, I can't seem to trigger it from that side. I don't think that's what you're meant to do. Uh, let's see. Maybe I just don't trigger it right away. Maybe I don't trigger it at all. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to drop down here. Let's go this way, I guess. Maybe I'll just trigger it from down here. I I, 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 I don't know. No, I this won't trigger. There we go. You have to specifically jump and bonk your head on it. You, hitting it on the side doesn't work for some reason. But there we go. Okay, so we gotta go through these blocks. For some reason, I'm kind of thinking of, like, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Marble Zone or something here, but uh, not as good, I guess. Oh, okay. So you can actually jump in and avoid the explosions, which is very nice. And I didn't do it that time. Whoops. And we got it this time. Made it across. Oh, yeah. I think we have to jump on top of this one. Jump on. Yeah, 2-2 two -two is completed. What the? What? What just happened? Wait, is this? Did I? I can't exit? I think I just, like, beat the stage and then somehow automatically re-entered it, and I can't just exit, I have to beat it again. What? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can't exit with the controller, but if you hit escape on the keyboard, you can get out of there. I was worried for a second. I legit thought I was going to have to beat that again. I'm not sure why there's no exit button on the actual controller, but I guess that's just the thing. Let's head off to World 2-3 now. Wow, it's like entering the stages automatically for me. I don't even think I pressed up right there. 
But we have some ice blocks that look like they're actually breaking. So we, we gotta be very careful about this. Oh, jump across here. Let's see. Watch out for the fishy. Oh, he's going all the way through the block at the top. Did you guys see that? He's like an ice muncher. Gosh dang. Oh, don't need me to do that. Let's see if I can start on this side to get better momentum. Got it. And let's go. Watch out for the spike balls. Looks like I have to jump on this. Dodge the fish. And what? That was like the lightest spring ever. That totally threw me off. Wow. Okay, let's try not using the springs this time. There we go. So the springs in that case were actually like an obstacle rather than like something to use to help you. Kind of threw, throws you off, but I guess they just, they're just mixing things up. I like it. I like it. Yeah, this game has some pretty interesting level design. The, the level design, the, the graphics, and the music are all nice. I like all of that. But the bad controls is something I can't get past. Okay, let's just get some fishies. Oh, there we go. Okay, we gotta dodge him right here as well, because he can go through there. And we have to dodge all these spike balls. Oh! That kind of freaked me out. The, the ice is melting beneath me. I Somehow I didn't even realize it was doing that. Let's try that one again. Let's not freak out. Thank you! Okay, so those ones will break uh, when you jump on them twice. These ones just start to, to uh, melt when you touch them. Uh, so we have to let this one melt, then go down. Then we have to time ourselves with the fishy here. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, we actually made it! We made it! Oh, I almost died right there too. I was gonna jump. I was just like feeling myself. So I was gonna just start going fast, but that was not a good idea. So it looks like at the end we're gonna have to have, let's see, is there another five crystals? 11 this time, so we have to get three more. So I guess that'll be our goal for the day. Let's go through 2-4, 2-6, and 2-8, I guess, because those are the ones that are out here. Let's go blow these up. Yeah, the game's definitely ramping up in difficulty, and I, I think that the difficulty is still very fair. I think it's at a, it's got a good difficulty curve. I like it. Let's see, we can pop these guys. And then the balloon respawns, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting mechanics, a lot of variety as well. We got the different strengths of springs, we got I di many different types of ice blocks, falling things. We got lots of different types of obstacles, which is really cool. I like seeing that type of stuff uh, when it comes to platformers, because too many just kind of give you the same obstacles over and over. For example, like Abomination Tower had better controls in my opinion and some pretty cool ideas, but the biggest uh, downfall to that game was just the lack of variety with the obstacles. There's only like one new one per stage, you know? But this one's just kind of throwing tons of new stuff at us, which is really cool. Also, we have a gosh dang adorable squirrel as our guy. Oh gosh, thankfully these ones don't seem to be melting. I don't know why that one's pink up there. I should even go for that. I'm just gonna like dodge spikes and stuff right now. Uh, oh. Okay, we're at the end. That last little tornado spike or drill, whatever that is, almost got me, but... I guess now it's just like a wait here for a while for these things to melt stage. That stage wasn't too bad, it had a lot of obstacles, but it works a lot better with the game's controls in that one. Uh, let's see, we got a balloon right here. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to get the hang of it, guys. I think that once you get the hang of the controls, this game's going to be a lot of fun. But just it has a pretty steep learning curve. Right there, I just totally choked. Let's try that one again. Okay. I do like that there's, you know, some simple things like the parallax effect. There's a layered background scrolling and all that. So there's a lot of cool things. Like this, this is a pretty cool level. I like this. Let's see. Let's give myself some room in the ceiling here. Okay. Ugh. We have to get through here. Oh, without spikes dying! Oh, did the spikes? I think the spikes might actually destroy these. Yep. So I have got to be careful about that. Let me see if I can trigger that. Oh no! It just broke. Oh! Okay. We're fine! Oh, Jeez. So now I've got to like break this crud with this one balloon respawning over and over. Alright, I think I might be able to make it, but I'm gonna go ahead and break that last one just to give myself some more headroom. I don't want to risk it quite yet. I think I should be good now. Got it. Get that bomb out the way. Thankfully the bomb will help us get through these without me having to break them myself. Okay, I just gotta go through. I can't see. Okay, we're good. We're good. Got it. Checkpoint. Checkpoints are so relaxing. Thank goodness. Let's just chill right here while these explode. I guess we want to make sure we get on top here. Nope. Gosh dang it. Oh, deep breath. Nope. Oh, gosh, I didn't even realize the floor was melting. I thought those were solid blocks for some reason. So here we have a whole bunch of falling stuff. We also have stuff that's going to be melting. And it looks like I dodged the first one somehow. Maybe it fell before it actually hit me. Let me try that one again. Oh, we actually made it through there. Heck yeah. Right here, I guess just run. Run for your dear life. We're good. Oh, okay. Don't kill me, game. Oh, jeez. This is starting to get pretty intense, considering this is only World 2 right now. 
But we're still doing alright. I mean, I'm not dying that many times. If you compare it to, like, I want to be the guy or something, I'm not dying that much. Maybe, like, you know, a handful of times here or there. We still need to get one more crystal, though, so I guess I'm going to go to 2-8 if I can. I can't actually reach it. I'm guessing you get, like, a high jump ability at some point. I can't reach that one. I've done everything here. What can I do left? Can I go back to World 1, maybe, and do one of those? I think that might be what I have to do, because I... I still don't know how to open all these different blockades and stuff. So let's go back to World 1. And yeah, there's 1-8 right here. So let's go do that one. We could have also done 1-7. I'm guessing these stages are going to be a little bit easier compared to the World 2 stuff we just did, though. So this should be a nice, nice relaxing break. Oh my gosh. Maybe not relaxing, actually. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Well, there's an achievement to blow up, like, I don't know if it's a 1,000 or 10,000 of these. I'm starting to see why the number is so high. There are a lot of these gosh dang things. Okay, we should be fine here. Okay, jump! Oh, right over it. Heck yeah! Okay, this is... This is just mean. I guess we're gonna go up here. Jump across. Let's go down there. Don't die! Momentum! Thank you. Okay, we got the checkpoint already. We're back to this, like, Happy World 1 music. This is not good! Oh, I couldn't make it, dude. Oh, the spring is just, like, floating there, too. Got it. Get... Oh, gosh, the explosion killed me while I was trying to jump on that spring. I think the top left section is safe. Oh, not safe. If I kill it like that... Okay. Can I make it? Yes, I can! Boom! Oh, yeah! And I think that's not the end of the stage. We still got this to go. Thank you. And we made it. We did not even have to uh, destroy all those. Can I live from here? Yes, I can live. And still not done. Oh my gosh, let's just try to dodge hitting these for a while. And we made it! We actually made it. So there's 1-8. Now we have 11 crystals. Let's head off to the World 2 boss. Alright, I kind of like the boss uh, fight. It was a little bit... Uh, it was a little bit clunky. He had some weird attacks, but... I don't know, I liked it. So let's go fight the second one. Where is it at? Hello? Oh, there it is. So yeah, there are five worlds in the game, just so you guys know. Oh my gosh, warning caution, we got a giant flying furry ice snake thing. The heck is that crud? I'm guessing we gotta jump on its head. Yep, there we go. Oh gosh, just watch out for the tail. Maybe I should try to get the high ground, that way if he jumps, yeah, I'll jump right into him. Fantastic. Go me! But I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, if I get the high ground, that way if he spawns above me, I can still easily hit him. Unless his height is dedicated, or uh, dictated by the direction I take. What? I don't even think he hit me there. Okay, let's... Third time's the charm? I don't even know if this is the third time. It probably isn't. Okay, come down here. Thank you. There we go. So I'm thinking he has like a... Whoa! Oh gosh, why are you spawning right here? Why are you spawning down here? Go away! Go away, mister. Oh gosh, I tried to jump on him again, but he gets so fast. So I gotta be careful with this one. Three. Come on. I think he takes like four. Wow, he's gone to the same spot four times. There he goes! Five! Boom, we got it! World 2 completed! Got my gosh dang cool shades right now. That's what's up. Two keys out of five. And I guess World 3 is going to be a desert type area, which is awesome. I gotta say, I do like the environments of this game. My first favorite environment are ice areas, which we just had in Ice World with World 2. My second favorite are desert areas, which is what we're doing here. I also really like grassy areas, which is the first one. So we kind of got through some of my favorite platforming areas. So I gotta say, guys, final verdict. Uh, the controls, you start to get used to them, but they are very, very hard to get used to, and I still don't think they're good. So, it's hard to recommend on that point. If you don't like games with wonky controls, you probably will get very frustrated with this game. Um, the graphics and the music, I like quite a lot. So, it's I can't recommend this game, though. It was only $4, so I only recommend it to the most hardcore of platforming fans, but anyone who's just, like, watching this, not sure if they should get it or not, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, guys... I don't think I'll be playing this next weekend. We'll play something else. I'll see you guys then. Take care.